Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Mort in LB0 Fox India. And today I'm going to start a new series for you with stuff us YouTubers assume that you new hams know what to do with. And for starters, we're going to talk about how to put a PL259 plug on a piece of coax. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to do this, we need a couple of tools. We need a pair of side cutters. We need a sharp knife, we need a soldering iron, and we need a multimeter. And yes, my multimeter is still low on battery, but I just haven't gotten around to buying a 9 volt battery yet. But we're going to start with the plug here. And first of all, we're going to just dismantle this plug. We're going to take the, the outer, I don't know what you call it, the outer thingy, the outer dingus. The, the outer part of it off and then we're left with this and this is one of those connectors that you can use with both an RG213 and an RG58 and we're going to use an RG58 so we're going to leave this in place for now you know what we're going to screw it off and do it in another way than I thought and if you're a seasoned ham and you want to comment that I'm doing this wrong, feel free to do that down in the comments. As easy as that. There are several ways to get this done, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. And um, you other guys, feel free to, to comment and tell me how you would do it. And even better, make a YouTube video on it and, uh, and prove me wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off let's say about two centimeters of the the outer shield here so we're going to take the knife and just easily depending on how sharp your knife is just work your way through the isolation here and just make sure you don't go too deep then you'll cut the shield here off and you really don't want to do that and just carefully and you might need to use a little bit of force here but try to do it as gently as you can try to get the insulation off here and sometimes this takes a little bit of work other times it just slips off depending on the coax and depending on your strength and depending on a lot of other things there we go now we're going to fold this just carefully and we're going to need a couple more things. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can make this happen. We're going to put this outer shield just on the coax first. Now we have an open end now, so it's not that important. Then we're going to put a little bit of heat shrink on here. Let's see if we can manage to do that as well. And yes, this is just to deliberately show you that you might forget to put those on and uh, that might lead you to start all over again. You're going to fold this back, try to get it as smoothly as possible and as spread out as possible. Then you take the adapter dingus. And just slide it back here like so then you're gonna just leave a couple of millimeters between the adapter dingus and where you take the dielectric off and leave the center core open twist the center core make sure you twist it good so there are no loose strands here Then you're going to pull this through and screw everything together. And this is a little bit long. We'll leave it long for now and then we'll cut it. We're just going to do one thing. We're going to take the multimeter here and that's set to continuity mode. Let's see if we can get this in frame for you. 
So as you can hear, it beeps when there's a short. We're just gonna see that this isn't shorted in any way, and it's not. Let's go ahead and do the rest here. I'm just gonna put the multimeter to the side. Then we're just gonna align this so we got that little lip here. Take the side cutters, cut any excess center off here. Then we're gonna solder it. And these are pretty much the cheapest connectors you can find on AliExpress. And they're good for one thing, they're cheap. They're not especially good, they're not especially heat resistant, but they're cheap. I'll leave an affiliate link down below if you want to get one and uh, just be aware that they are, in lack of a better word, cheap. Don't put too much heat on these because they will melt. So we're going to try to solder this as quickly as possible. Like this. And we're just going to check that it's relatively straight and hasn't melted. It hasn't, so we're good. The smart thing here, though, is to just make sure that you don't have any solder blobs on the outside, because if you do, um, you're going to have a problem uh, getting this connector inside an SO239. So let's go ahead and uh, put some heat shrink on. That's basically because I like it, my cables to look relatively nice. And when I say relatively, I mean relatively because it's the way I do it. So let's get the heat gun. There we go. And after blasting the heat gun and at 600 degrees centigrade and the soldering iron, everything might be a little bit hot. Then we're gonna screw the outer threads. I guess threads is a better word than dingas. Is. Find the multimeter again. Turn the multimeter to continuity. And just check that we, does not, we don't have a short now. No short. We're good there. We're good there, but no short. That's good. Let's do the other end as well. And um, I'll do that in a little bit higher speed and then we'll get right back. So we're gonna do this the same way. We're gonna take the connector and just dismantle it. Remember the heat shrink. Do this the right way. Let's go ahead and turn the speed up and um, get this thing done. And what you saw there was that I had a little bit short here. So I'm gonna see if I can correct that now. No short. So let's go ahead and solder it. There we go. And before we finish the job, we're going to see that we still don't have a short. Let's hope we don't. No short. See that we have connection center to center. We have connection shield to shield. And center to center, so we're good. Let's shrink it now. Then we're gonna just connect the 
screwy dingus part like this. And let's just see if we have continuity where we're supposed to have continuity and shielding where we're supposed to have shielding. So let's see. Let's check shield to shield. We got continuity. Shield to center, no continuity. Center to center, we got continuity. That's good. Just gonna remove this, tidy up a little bit, and I'll be, I'm not even gonna be right back. Just like this. And that's one piece of coax mounted. That wasn't too hard, was it? But this is one of these things that the seasoned hams think that everyone knows. And truth be told, no. We don't always know this when we're a new ham or we haven't done this in a while. So that's what I'm going to do in my instructional video series here. I'm, I'm going to take what people assume that you know and show you how to do it. This is relatively easy. I hope you'd like this. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down, down in the comments if this was helpful. Let me know if there's something you would have done differently on this. Let me know what you think of these cheap connectors from AliExpress, affiliate link down below. And I bought these myself, they are not sponsored. And um, besides that, consider subscribing so you know when my next video comes. And if you want to support the channel a little bit, there are some financial links down below. Don't feel obligated to do that though. Uh, it's only if you can afford it and if you really, really like my content. That's it for now. See you down the bands. See you in my next video, 7-3.